12 and a half. Oh, a day. <laughs> I need to give my eyes some rest. <laughs> Do you have any maybe suggestion for somebody that would want to separate from it? Um, but most of mine is spent yeah, meditating. Yeah, yeah, well, that is so much worse than I thought it was. <laughs> we got a solid 88. You should have made the disclaimer, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The videos that we've seen online, when it comes down to how many hours somebody spends on their phone, and you see these outrageous numbers, even the numbers that I saw from other people, I wanted to go deeper. I wanted to have a better understanding of why their numbers were as large as they were. 88 hours a week? Hours a week. I have my music playing all the time. Jesus. I don't think that counts. On. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's the thing that I was trying to figure out because like if your screen's on, it's kind of hard. Yeah. Because it's like, that still counts as screen time. Oh, it does. So yeah, that's so why- I have it open while I'm driving because I'm going through all my playlists. Oh, so. yeah. At least the whole picture of screen time is a poor judgment of how somebody's truly spending their time. Forty of it actually comes. Yeah, he's like an Uber I do driver. Uber, okay. so I'll just throw on like YouTube or like some like just yeah. to watch while I'm doing Uber. So you're not just doing like scrolling on TikTok oh, or Instagram no, or no. If you imagined yourself where you would be in say six months, three weeks, tomorrow, if you weren't on TikTok as much or on Instagram or on YouTube as much as you are, if you could just imagine how quickly you could transform in the place that you could be, it might be easier to understand how you're wasting time with social. Focus on in-person passions and in-person reality-based things, like instead of being on your phone, go for a walk or connection to exercise is probably my re highest recommendation. I was led to believe that screen time was a bad thing. I've started to see that screen time is not what we were led to believe. Yeah, a lot of YouTube, a lot of YouTube docs. Uh, a lot of YouTube in the car too, uh -huh. podcasts and stuff. So you're using it more for beneficial, like education. I'm trying. You're trying to learn. <laughs> Doing my best. <laughs> you have high hours of screen time. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're wasting your time. All it means is that you need to drill down into the hours that you're spending and question, are these helping me get to the place that I want to get to? If the answer is no, then you should probably start reevaluating and understanding different areas that you can shift that time to help you get to the place that you want to get to. I shouldn't be watching Netflix anymore because that's taking up too many hours of my day. If it's having more freedom, if it's being healthier, it starts by understanding where your time goes. It's TikTok. TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. TikTok and Netflix. I feel that. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. I had the belief that if I was on my phone for 8, 12, 16 hours a day, it meant that I was just scrolling social media. That's the crazy thing is, that's what I would be doing if I was on my phone all day. Everybody has a different perception or perspective of how much time they spend on their phone, and it starts with how they perceive the hours that they themselves would be spending on the phone. And actually, FaceTime is just more fun, like my friends. <laughs> so that takes up a lot of it, because I'm on FaceTime for like, that's why it starts with awareness of how one is spending one's time. If one understands that I spend four hours on TikTok and I want to become healthier, I want to start going to the gym, maybe the best thing that somebody can do is cut out an hour of TikTok per day. You might be thinking, well, it's hard for me to do this. Set time blocks on your phone. Set ways for you to leave your phone somewhere else or put it on do not disturb or have a friend text you or call you to keep you accountable to go to the gym. There's always ways of finding solutions to the problem if you truly want to have that solution. I know there's a bunch of apps and whatnot. Uh, usually what I like to do is I'm like, I have hours set that I'm like not on my phone, I'm doing something else. Especially on like weekends, like I'm, I try and just go out and do things, do like turn my phone off, like I'm always in the mountains doing something. Go somewhere where there's a cell phone. So yeah. it's like- That's the best way to do it. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> it's, just, it's hard to be on your phone and you're like just enjoying life. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Even from the people that we listened to throughout this video, we came to understand that not all of them are wasting their time, not every single one of them is just meaninglessly scrolling. A lot of them are using their phones for productive reasons. And understanding this can completely transform your life. And it's why I think it's a good idea to track what you do throughout the day, to understand where your time's truly going, to help you get to the place that you wanna to get to.